Okay, got one getting in the nest now. Okay, and back she comes, see? Oh, they're putting the bark and stuff in there, lying in the nest, see? That's what they're doing. Putting the finishing touches on the nest now. It's those flat pieces of cedar bark they like. Well, there we go. She flew out. He flew in. And she came back. Yeah, they're putting the finishing touches on it, putting in the little thin strips of cedar bark, little flat pieces. Cooper hawks like to line their nest with that. Okay, I think she's going to go again. We'll see if he comes back. Oh, yeah, getting all squared away today. The final touches on the nest. I will be patient and see how long it takes for the next return here. We'll give them a little bit. We're having quite the activity. And back we go again. See that piece of bark, that flat piece? Yeah, they're lining the nest then. There is a thin piece of cedar bark. I've gotten pictures in the past of that at the nest and videos, and that's what they line the nest on top of the twigs with. And there we go. That's Mama. She's bigger. All right, see what she does here. Putting in a couple of pieces of bark. I just wanted to document that good so everybody could see it. There we go. We get a good size definition of him and her when they're in there. Okay. Warmed up now, 50 some degrees, about 54. So they're staying busy. This is going to be a great spot. As long as the leaves don't get too high, we'll always have a good shot. And it looks like, oh, there he's back, see? Now you can see the size difference. How great is that? We're getting such good stuff today. There we are. A pair of Cooper hawks lying in the nest with a cedar bark. He's all excited about it, and she's made a couple trips already. Definitely stay right here. Like I said, I came down yesterday afternoon, about seven o'clock in the afternoon. There's no activity here, but this morning, a little after ten, they are very busy. Let's see what he does now. He's gonna check out the feel of the nest here. When I first came, she was laying down in there. Now let's see what he's up to. When they're getting their clutch together, when it gets up to 50 some degrees, they don't have to sit on it to maintain it. And once they get all their eggs, get four or five eggs in there, then they bring them up to almost 100 degrees. And they incubate them for 20 some days. But here at night, they can't let them get too cold, otherwise they never would hatch. It'd be like putting it in the refrigerator. So they just maintain them when it's cool and cold. And when they get the full amount, okay, out he goes. She's got another one, see? And then eggs will lay flat on them pieces of cedar. So there you go. Line the nest with cedar bark. All right, busy gal. That's a good mama. There 
we go. Romeo and Flo. That's the names we give them because they're right behind the Flo facility. It's a good name for her. And they are busy. And we're getting great stuff today. We'll share this with all our friends. We got our sun shield on our camera. And we're shooting right directly <laughs> at the nest but the sun is a little bit to the south so it's not coming directly on us but it's still pretty good with that sunscreen on my uh, lens cover lens screen sunscreen is what it is actually and for rain so well, there she is well I got some more maybe I'll take off and off she goes probably for another one well, I think we'll call that good then. We got six minutes there. All right.